This week's problem is a traditional matrix vector multiplication kernel, used in several applications such as machine learning and image processing. This figure shows the software-oriented code that describes the kernel. The code consists of the two-level loop nest that reads the matrix A and vector X and generates the output elements located in Y. If we assume M is 4096 and N is 2048, then this figure shows the synthesis report after synthesizing the code with Vitus 2020.2. As can be seen, the first loop is not pipelined, but the inner loop is pipelined with the initiation interval of 1. After executing the code on Ultra 96 version 2 FPGA board, using the Vitus 2020.2 software tool, the execution time would be 683.491 millisecond. Now the question is, how can we improve the performance? Pause the video if you would like to give this problem a try, and when you are ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. The kernel should read A and X to perform its task. As A has N times M elements and X has M elements, at least N times M plus M read operations are required. The kernel also should write N elements of the result vector. As the memory ports in Zinc and PSOC have two separate channels for read and write operations, the read and write operations can be done in parallel. If we assume each read or write operation requires one clock cycle, then the kernel needs n times m plus m clock cycles to finish its task. Here, I assume that the computation can be performed in the pipeline fashion with the memory transaction. That means the computation time completely overlapped with the memory transaction. If we assume n is 4096 and m is 2048, and the design frequency is 150 megahertz, then the kernel takes 55.94 millisecond to finish its task in the ideal case. However, our original software-oriented code is far slower than this ideal case. What are the problems in the previous code? There are three main issues. Having an imperfect loop nest, mixing computation with memory access, and finally, accessing elements in X is not sequential throughout the kernel execution. We transfer the X vector into the BRAM for data reuse to solve the last issue. To solve the second problem, we divide the code into three functions, read A, compute, and write Y. These functions will be executed in a data flow fashion, in which they will be executed in a pipeline scheme with the initiation interval of 1. Two FIFOs provide a kind of streaming data transfer between the three functions. To solve the first issue, we modify the code such that the inner loop encompasses all the statements. Let's have a look at the modified code. A pipeline loop transfers the X vector into a BRAM memory. A burst data transfer will perform this data transaction. Therefore, the for loop will take at least m clock cycles to finish. A function containing a pipeline for loop transfers the A matrix to an HLS stream to be delivered to the compute function via a FIFO. The compute function fetches each element in the input FIFO and performs the computation. And when a result element is ready, it pushes that into the output HLS stream variable. The result elements will be delivered to the last function to be written into the Y vector. Whereas the pipeline loops in the read and write functions have an initiation interval of 1, the loop nest in the compute function will be pipelined with the initiation interval of 8. This high initiation interval reduces the performance of the kernel implementation. 
To address the high initiation interval of the loop nest in the compute function, you can partially unroll the inner loop eight times. This partial unrolling mechanism will compensate for the negative impact of the high initiation interval. This code represents the partially unrolled inner loop. You can find the complete code on my GitHub site, which its address is mentioned under this video. If we synthesize the code and run that on the Ultra 96 version 2 FPGA board, the total execution time will be 62.103 milliseconds, which is very close to the ideal case mentioned earlier in this video. This leads to an 11 times speed up. Note that the Zinc Ultra Scale Plus MPSOC exists in the Ultra 96 version 2 board has more than one memory port. And each port can transfer up to 128 bit data. Therefore, by utilizing six 128 bit memory ports, we can potentially improve the performance by the factor of 24. So, I leave this speed up as a challenge for you. 